Gdiana Rogo, reviewer of eight international conference on sustainable agriculture and environment, online conference, Surakarta, Indonesia. Greeting everyone. I would like to explain my study about Neurophasy humidity control for white oyster mushroom in a closed plant production system. First of all, I will explain about my introduction. Oyster mushrooms do not contain cholesterol and a lot of fiber. Because of that, it is one of potential agriculture commodity and it must be cultivated in the best condition. Kumbung is a special house as a place for cultivating mushrooms and protect the mushroom growing media or netlock from rainwater and unwanted contaminants. But in the reality, mushroom farmers face obstacles in controlling the temperature and humidity of Kumbung because they only use their scent to control the temperature and humidity. Oyster mushroom grow optimally in temperature range of 28 until 30 degrees Celsius and humidity of 80 until 90 percent. So it must be necessary to place a sensor or the device that can measure the temperature and humidity. Because of this case, in this study, the purpose were build close band protection system or CPPS equipped with neurophasy humidity control systems and now, the effectiveness of neurophasy humidity control system for white oyster mushroom cultivation in CVPS compared with fuzzy humidity control system. The next, I will explain about research methods. Materials used in this study were Arduino Uno 2560 microcontroller as a brain of this control system is HD11 sensor for sensing the condition of humidity inside of CPPS, diaphragm water pump, and mist nozzles as the actuator of this control system, galvanized hollow iron as a backlog rack for mushroom cultivation, and light bricks as the wall of the CBPS. This study consists of two states. The first stage was making a structural design or building of a CBPS and the installation of a functional design that consists of the program water pump and mist as an actuator and its HD11 sensor as a humidity sensor of cultivation room in CBPS. The second stage was making a electrical design consists of the microcontroller Arduino Mega 2560 as a brain and connect to all its component, installing neurophasy logic based software on microcontroller and then run a narrow fuzzy base was compared with fuzzy base humidity control system testing and also humidity control system that testing that was given a disturbance. This is the first stage documentation or making a structural design. This is documentation of making a functional design and the last is the documentation about electrical design. And then, my results and my discussion about my study 
The first stage was making a structural design or building CPPS as a cultivation room for white oyster mushrooms. And the CPPS dimensions were length 3.5 meters with 2 meters height of the front side 2.75 meters and height of back side 3.25 meters. Inside of the CPPS room, we're equipped with a series of humidity actuator that consists of water pump diagram and mist nozzle set, where the action that actuator depends on the reading value of humidity from the SHD11 sensor, which also placed inside it. And then the second stage was making electrical design, which consists of hardware that include humidity control system assembled in a electronic box, like in the picture, and installing neurophysiologic logic based on microcontroller Arduino Mega 2560. This microcontroller connects to all the necessary component and the action of actuator or the lispon of the actuator based on Aerofazi logic coding program that installed on it. This actuator will be execute the diaphragm water pump and delivered water to the mist nozzle set, which will be perform the function of spraying water mist on the white oyster mushroom bedrock. And then the Narrow fuzzy and compare fuzzy control system setting results were fuzzy control system the value of relative humidity highest error at 2.08% and the lowest error at 0.21% and the narrow fuzzy control system the value of relative humidity highest error at 0.73% and the lowest error at 0.09%. So we can conclude that narrow fuzzy humidity control system was better than fuzzy from the value of the highest and lowest error. And then the disturbance given by opening our windows and a door for fifth minutes in the CPPS room and we test for the control system. The result were fuzzy control system humidity in the in CPPS room decreased by 9% and the recovery speed in the system was 1.8% per minute. But narrow fuzzy control system decreased also in 9%, but the recovery system in Nerofazi was better, 2.25% per minute. So we can conclude that CPPS design that was equipped with a humidity control system based on Nerofazi logic for white oyster mushroom cultivation had been successfully developed. Result of the Nerofazi based control system was better than fuzzy control system with the highest error humidity at 0.73% and the lowest error 0.09 and the recovery rate when the dis it's disturbed 2.25% per minute. Forgive me for all the mistakes. Thank you for attention. And that's all.